have only one last place to look. Yep. If all Majory oh, is not in a room, room rise. just where the hell is she? Last time it's possible the she may be on the bridge. But I would guess that she's waiting for us elsewhere on the ship. We have to Which means she's sure. most likely we're chosen we're a place going. where she'll have the advantage of fight. Places that are retaining and some Be careful, guys. I came from an entire family of Danon mages. And that woman murdered all well, of them. Well, I had a story arc, I guess. And, uh... I hate to say it. Yeah. But she's an incredibly the powerful ship, she's astral artist. Sword. We already know she specializes in controlling wind astral energy. But on top of that, yeah. she might try to sick that monster on us again, too. Right. Oh, yeah, to definitely. That woman, life itself is just a toy for her to play with. Let's make sure we put an end to it. Oh, yeah. Now, typically... The boss we're going to be going up against, which, yeah, shocker, here's the boss. <laughs> shocker, I know. Um, it could be a really hard one. Typically, for the most part. However, because for New Game Plus, it's going to be easy. But if you're playing this as your first playthrough, I recommend coming into this fight fully stocked with items. Healing items. Healing gels and but all alone, life bottles. Watch yourselves. She's probably planning something. I highly recommend coming in this fight with that. <laughs> this is your first getting rather tired of waiting around. Oh my. And I see you came along as well. Stop laughing, you can't laugh for shit. <laughs> oh, Madria. What's this? I your sense you of fake. Of me. Go on, little one. Show me the full force of that hatred of yours. Otherwise, run and hide like a rat you are. That's enough! How can you smile while causing pain to so many others? That is the way of those who possess great power. The very way we run in Those with power set the example. Alfin, she's a cartoon villain. Surely you understand. Though you two seem to have forgotten, she also doesn't know how to dress. I mean, look at that. Do you really think that Looks justifies so your actions? You turned all those people Rack. into a hollowed sea. What foolishness! It's only natural that the fate of a slave differ from that of its owner. Very well, I admit I did fan the flames just a tad back in the ends, but it wouldn't have mattered in the slightest if there hadn't been a spark to ignite. Without it, my actions would have been fruitless. Ultimately, it was their very own burning hatred that laid them to waste. I guess. To say it was all my fault is simply laying blame at the wrong feet. No one's perfect. We all have darkness in our hearts. But the atrocities that you've committed, they're unthinkable! Your heart is nothing but darkness! What a fool! To think time and time again you would challenge Ren and Authority without so much as an inkling of how things actually work. Don't get our kingdom Such hearts now. Such is why your kind has been enslaved for 300 years. Almadria. Well, if it isn't Lord Dolalim. These people are my allies and friends. I won't let you insult them so. <laughs> my, what a shock. I never would have Except for in a while, you can insult her. Slaves as your companion. No, no, if well, I didn't okay. know any better, I would question your noble lineage. Oh, how far the mighty have fallen. A traitor such as yourself hardly deserves to be called a lord. You are nothing compared to Dohalim. Rinwell. He would never stand by and laugh. His people hollowed. Huh. What does it matter? You're descended from those who allowed the power and knowledge entrusted to them to wither away. Your pitiful family may have feared it, but I do not. That knowledge and power is all mine to command. And now, you will witness what Look her hair. is truly capable of. She just looks so badly designed. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, the thing here can be a hard boss fight. So you're paired for that. Remember the first time I played? Yeah. Rock to my world with that. Enjoy your meal! Don't laugh, don't you do it? Don't do it. Such sad eyes, child. Let me reunite Dad. you with your parents. Shut up! I'm gonna take you down if it's the very last thing I do! <laughs> That's right. Loathe me. Every step brings you closer to being me. You're wrong. You're wrong. <laughs> Oops, I guess she's not gonna be taking her down. <laughs> she's not the party. You know, I really wish uh, I could turn around I'm a good guy, I'm understanding, and getting my character development to happen a bit sooner in the game. Or at least more gradually. Or there are more traits to her that made you care. Because sadly, at this point, I don't care. I'm sorry. Renewal just doesn't do it for me. You haven't seen too health bars? Oh man. Look at that. Even at level 100. Almost. Don't be fooled. <laughs> If I remember correctly, I think it says 2 4. I think. I could be your one brain. Right it's been a while. You murdered my mother and father. But I'm not like you. Stay out of it. Alone. Even now, I hate you. But here I am, unable to let go. Honestly, even if I took my hatred out on you here and now, it wouldn't make me feel any better in the long run. I realize that now. So, I won't kill you. I'll take you in and make damn sure justice is served the right way. You would dare mock me with your foolish, useless pity. A Danon. Nothing more than a mere slave. I won't allow you to. It's not about what you think. Or being Danon or Renan. Because you'll atone for the crimes you committed. And that's all. Because she won't? Well, let's assume that she had a new officer character. She doesn't. It doesn't matter. In fact, speaking of which, this whole scene is kind of mute. Because here comes Bootlegger off to ruin it. Oh, Lord Volron, what brings you here? Uh, no, forgive me. I've forgotten myself. Please allow me to make it up to you, my lord. Just die. You're pointless. Silence now. Wretched sake. Does it hurt? It should. That pain is proof you're still alive. Enjoy it. Uh, what a good voice actor talent wasted on Volron. Because Volron, his actor, is actually the guy who played um, Claude in Fire Emblem Three Houses. So he's a good actor. I just feel like he's wasted on Volron. Haros met a sudden death. His successor was a man by that very name. Volron. And like a restless lover, I've come back for more. <laughs> Don't go Genesis on us. Stop right there! Think you can cut me 
down. What? Come on. Ralph is going Super Saiyan. Pretty. <laughs> Sorry for the glasses. Oops. Wait, what just happened to him? Alfred? His eyes are wide, okay? He's shocked. That's what's going on behind him. Say something. <laughs> That's it. Let me go! Shion! Alvin! Oh no! Shion! Shion summoned a gun and put it in his face. His eyes. What is this, a material blade? Flame burns and the vorpal sword. Find me if you truly are the sovereign. Well, shit. That's sovereign, huh? Yeah, I really feel for she on there. Because let's see here, Alfin was the only person she could touch for the first time in many, many years. Well, actually, her whole life, because it's not only many years, it's been her whole life. And then now he can feel pain after the mask is removed. After all this time, I'll be free from this hell. And now that one person I can finally go home. Doubt I'll ever see this Bill's place again. Pain. Might as well walk she now has nothing again, so she kind of shuts down. It's so really sad. And here is a memory thing Elephant's going through. Remembering things that happened in his past. Uh, it's not voice acted for some reason. It really should have been a lot of this. Because it's telling you a lot of lore, but it's all for text boxes. It would have been helpful. As you can guess, we are with the Riddens right now. And yeah, Alfin is a Dan. He is. He's not Renan. <laughs> But he was one of the first for the experimentation, something like that, for Solvren. So, I kind of wish we got to see, like, you know, him being taken here. Yeah, he spent some time in the labs here. No music, which is weird. And 
Yeah, we sure are to subject. But anyway, might have seen this outfit before because I actually have it as a costume. But now we need to wear it. This is just a whole entire weird spot that feels kind of lazy that they didn't voice act. They didn't even have music here. Like you're trying to build tension, but you can at least voice acting. Or at least some music. Got a little hasty. Don't worry about it. Now we haven't forgotten your warning. As usual, oh. nobody wants to explain anything to me. Mm. They just threaten and harass me instead. What does everyone think I am? Some sort of talking pet? They're the ones that dragged me all the way up here in the first place. Bastards. I shouldn't have bothered coming out. Might as well head back to my room. Yeah, he was a test subject or something. Hello? You look familiar. But I feel like you're not who I think you are. Very pretty, though. I do think Alfred's hair is also a little shorter, too. I just wanted to go back. To Dana. To my home. Alfin. Leori. Does that sound good? The iron mask. She recognized that mask. Wait, please. Wait, I. I. What was that? I do wish I had to remove those for this. How long ago was that? We seem to be alone. That's right. Shion. She's gone, man.
she's gone. Oh, right. That's what pain felt like. She's got his feeling. So much for it all being a bad dream. He's definitely got his feelings back. He felt pain again. Where am I? Where is everyone? Don't know, man. It's just the thoughts in your head. Try not to make you go crazy. He'll try not. Yeah, no, that's gone. Remember what she said. Can't use it unless she's there. And unfortunately, if you're playing this game without the new game plus, like I, I am, them. the monsters get looking. kind of spongy without the blazing sword. <sighs> but if it's new game plus, I'll be okay. <sighs> Everyone still got stuff. <sighs> yeah. It's time for him to change outfits. Nah. You see the only one we've got. Good to me. I really like this outfit. I'll admit that. Oh no. Goodness, you're alive. Are you all right? E yeah. Clearly not. I'm just glad we found you in one piece. You were the only one still missing. There's a village back the way we came from, Thistleim. Kisara and La are already there. Rinwell, where are we? Ganeth Haros. Wolron's realm, remember? Ushered by the waves straight to the enemy stronghold. A rare stroke of How luck, convenient. it would seem. Very convenient. Luck. If Wolron's here, that means Shion's close too, right? Shion? Oh. Right. Of course. Are you sure you're feeling okay? You seem a little... off. He's probably just exhausted. Let's save Clearly the catching up well. for when we're back at the village. <sighs> Alright, Golem rejoined us. I think Hoodle senses an owl around here. Yeah, there is an owl around here. 
I'm gonna change this outfit again now. That's what I was talking about earlier. Yeah, I'll swear that. It's good enough for me. Eh, let's change yours. No. Time for something new. Yeah, that's good enough. Still leave us some cool looks. Crown for the cave. Good enough. Let's go. <laughs> Speaking of Thistleim, it's populated by Danans, but they're not under the rule of any lord. Pretty <laughs> refreshing, huh? The whole town was built by Danan defectors, escapees from elsewhere. This area is teeming with stray zoogles, though, so heaven only knows how they managed to set up a community here. I don't think he cares, here. Renwell. The ordeal seems to have left them understandably on edge. Kisara and La are back there right now, trying to convince them of our good intentions. Yeah, he doesn't care. Say, Elfin, it looks like you got your face back then. Yeah. And your sense of pain, too, it would seem. Any connection? Really? Oh, but that means... Probably. <laughs> Once again, she ends alone. Going to be okay. For now, I That's really got to suck. I believe we should hold off on speculation and simply keep an eye on him. Right. Alfin! Boy, am I glad to see you safe! Well, did you manage to convince them we're not in league with any lord? Yeah, eventually. Good. When the ship sank, I, I mean, thought we were done for. We're kind of in league, lord. I guess the world lord. just couldn't keep us apart. Technically. Yeah, Deline. and now we can finally go rescue Xion. Right. There's something I need to tell you guys first. I... I got my memory back. Well, so talk often. It tells the truth. So, what did you remember? Are you able to tell us now? Give the man some space, Law. I... I remember being up on Lenigus. Go on. I was abducted from Dana. I was told if I ever wanted to return home, I'd have to cooperate. So... So that's what I did. Next thing I knew, the 
had made me into the Sovereign. You mean to say you won the Crown Contest? As a Danon? No. They kept me locked in a strange facility. They experimented on me, like I was nothing more than an animal. There were others, but only I survived. Of course, I wasn't really a king. The reality was that they treated me worse even than the lowest slave. The only reason I survived was because my body was able to withstand the Sovereign's power that they placed inside me. The crest that appeared behind you on Almadria's ship must have undoubtedly been that of the Sovereign. It all makes sense now. Your affinity with the Blazing Sword, and the strange powers you possess, they were all because you were the Sovereign. Okay, but why would the Renans go out of their way to give you all that power? Just what exactly does being the Sovereign entail? Makes you wonder. They said it was for something called the Spirit Channeling Ceremony. They taught me how to harness my power for when the big day came. As for what the ceremony was actually for, unfortunately, I never found out. So if what you're saying about being on Lenegas is true, then maybe you really did meet Xion. After all, you said you recognized her from somewhere, right? But Xion said she'd never seen him before. How do you explain that? I was wrong. It wasn't Xion I knew from Lenegas. It was Nayori. She was a Renan maid and they paired me with during the spirit channeling ceremony. She's the woman I kept seeing in my dreams. A maiden? What? Wait, so this Nayori figure just happens to be the double of Xion? Bit... Coincidental, isn't it? Naori's family name was Imeris. Imeris? As in Xion Imeris? So they're distant relatives or something? Wait, or are they sisters? Your guess is as good as mine. All I know is it was Naori. She's the one who put the mask on me. The mask? But why? To keep my soul from devouring itself over the guilt. After I... After what I did on Lenicus. Over the lives I took. <gasps> lives? You mean... You staged a rebellion? No. Perhaps it was a part of this spirit channeling ceremony? I don't know. Whatever it was that the spirit channeling ceremony was supposed to achieve, it didn't turn out as planned. I lost consciousness halfway through. By the time I came to, Lenigus was a sea of flames. I opened my eyes to see Naori there, weeping. to think of how many deaths I caused that day. <laughs> Certainly more than any of these lords can claim, I'm sure. You really expect us to believe this? First the Sovereign, then Lenigus? You couldn't possibly have done all that. I wonder. In ancient scripture, there is tell of a terrible calamity that befell Lenigus nearly destroying it. The restoration took years, and required the work of countless laborers. By ancient, you mean... It predates the Crown Contest, to a time before even the first Renan invasion of Dana. More than 300 years ago. 300? But that'd make Alfin... That's right. 
So y'all made sure that's a laugh. I'm pretty much an Sorry, I just put that out. That's being. an actual laugh. A maniacalness. Deep down, maybe I already knew. Alfin. Some hero, huh? Cooperating with the same villains who snatched me from my home, committing mass slaughter, only for it to slip my mind. Then when I finally remember, turns out I'm so old I've got scripture written about me. So much Sheesh. for standing up to injustice. I've probably got more blood on my hands than all the lords combined. Alfin, stop. Honestly, I'm not going to pretend to understand what all this means. But what I do know is that right now, you're just reacting to the shock. 321-year-old Alpha. And now, Alpha, those other villains, it's all cartoon villains. You know, I've Sora. Listen, what you really, you really need is time. Something. Time to process things and get your stuff. head straight. Truth be told, I so think that probably goes for all of us. What about Xion? We can't just... I'm worried about Xion too, Law. But it's clear that Alfin's in no fit state to fight. This is Volron, remember? Even at full capacity, it's practically a suicide mission. We stay put in the village till we're ready. Okay, everyone? She gonna really... Her mind is blown. Take some time to think things through, okay? She finds out about okay? this. But remember, he we're all her, here for you if you need us. No matter how dark things might seem, you're not alone, Alfin. Thank you. No problem. It's fine. All right, everyone. In that. Let's break for now. I do I even have the right to fight? Do I have the right to go to Xion's rescue? Yeah. What do the others think? Yeah. You need to go save her. Come on, man. Can't let Boot Leg Rock win. That'd be lame. Say, You're certainly on. full of surprises, oh, shit, aren't you? Villain. Trust me, it's not intentional. Sorry, that was insensitive of me. Though, there's still an awful lot I wish I could understand. Every new piece of information seems only to yield further mysteries. The truth feels just as elusive as when we first started. I guess. I am well aware of where you got your powers. But why, as a Danon, do you bear the same crest as the current Renan Sovereign? More to the point, why choose a Danon for their sovereign in the first place? <sighs> and then there is the Maiden, a figure so powerful, she's playing yin to the sovereign's yang in esoteric ceremonies. And yet, I've never even heard of her. Then again, this all occurred 300 years ago. What if the term sovereign doesn't even hold the same meaning as it did back then? <sighs> Listen. I may be a traitor among my people, but I am still Renan, born and raised. I learned the same history, listened rapt to the same tales. And yet now I feel like there was little truth to any of it. Speaking of which, there's something else that I remember from the spirit channeling ceremony. It used the Renis Alma. You're certain? Yes. Or at least that's what they called it. 
Only you would know if it was one and the same. Oh, I have never laid eyes on the real artifact myself. And you never participated in a crown contest. You're not even Renan. Many mysteries lay buried in these three centuries past. Three centuries is more than several lifetimes. I guess so. Was I really out that long? Well, I'm only estimating based on historical record. But all the facts would seem to point that way. Who the hell am I? If I may be frank, we have even bigger fish to fry than that. By comparison, the far more important question at hand is... Just what does it all mean? Frank, huh? Sometimes, we need a little help in addressing the truth behind our pain. <sighs> Not to compete over lives lost, but I suspect your count is still somewhat beneath mine. Thanks for lending me an ear, and sorry for being a bother. Please, no thanks are necessary. The quicker you get back on your feet, the sooner we can all get back out there. What do you see out there? Zoogles. Strays by the looks of it. We unwittingly disturbed their territory on our way here, and now they're looking pretty riled up. So, feel like you're making headway? You know, sorting through things? All I know is Xion needs our help. As for what happens after that... <sighs> Say, how did you get back down here from Lenegas anyway? I came down in a red oh. starship. I have Naori to thank for that. What happened to her? Did she no. come with you? She stayed behind. Just as I wanted to get back to Dana and my people, Naori's place was with her fellow Renans, performing her duties as the Maiden. Neither of us asked for the power or roles we were given. I suppose we felt a kinship with each other in that sense. But even then... Wait. So you mean it wasn't just Danans like you that Lenegas abducted? You're saying they forced Naori, one of their own, to serve Clearly. against her will as well? Even within Renan society itself, there exists a hierarchy. I don't think she was ever given the option to refuse. Despite that, she did everything she possibly could to serve her people. The very same ones I ended up slaughtering. And even after that, she still helped me escape back to Dana. <sighs> She stayed behind on Lenegas to help any of her people who survived. I owe her more than words can express. A debt left to fester for what? Three hundred years? How do I even begin to make up for something like that? In all honesty, you don't. You can't atone for what's no. happened in the past. I don't think anyone what can. Do about that? Be it several centuries ago, or just yesterday. What are you saying? I might as well give up? I'm saying you don't have to be a white knight in shining armor. <laughs> Back after my brother had passed away, it was you who told me that his dream lived on inside me. And you did the same for him, for Dohalim, when he was ready to give up too. You were there for both of us. You know what I heard? I heard you telling me to keep fighting, to strive no matter what. And I was out of line. I had no right to ask that of you. No, you're wrong. Those words were exactly what I needed to hear at the time. In fact, I would go as far as to say that I wouldn't even be here had I not heard them. Left to my own devices, who knows when I would have been able to pick myself up. Besides, it's not like killing all those people was a choice that you made of your own free will, right? The truly terrible ones are the people who abducted you. The ones who forced you to wield that power. They're the ones you should be blaming. Not only that, but that guilt you feel inside? That's all the proof you need to know you're a good person, Elfin. Do you understand? If I'm still allowed to fight and keep on living, then damn it, Alfin, so the hell are you. <sighs> but... If you're still not convinced, then ask yourself this. What is it that you've really been fighting for this whole time? Go on, ask yourself. What I've been fighting for, huh?
I mean, it's a question. All this time, really I thought it was the worrying out. about Xion and the pain bringing you down. I didn't realize you were lonely, too. I guess all of us are, in one way or another. Yeah, but you've only just found out. I mean, no, not found out. Remembered. To tell you the truth, I was actually beginning to forget I'd even lost my memory in the first place. Now that it's returned, I... Well, you can see what I'm like. It's strange. When I think about Lenigus, it still feels like it was only a year or two ago that I was there. But then I realized what feels like years was actually centuries ago. What about your hometown? Do you know if it's still there? I doubt it. When the Renans hey, invaded, long, the world as I knew it changed overnight. Even if the place is still there physically, I expect the people will be long gone. Certainly everyone I knew, at least. My family. My friends. Yeah. I know how that feels. <clears throat> I have no home to return to either. No family waiting for me. I used to curse my bad luck that I'd ever been born a mage in the first place. Otherwise, if I hadn't, maybe my mother and father would still be alive today. Although if that had been the case, I guess I'd probably still be just another slave with no means to resist. I never have met up with you guys, that's for sure. Have you learned to embrace your powers yet? Nuh uh. I resent them a little less than before, though. They've kept me alive this long, right? I try not to think about it too much. After all, I guess. who can predict what the future will hold? I guess what I'm trying to say is that with everything that's happened in your past, finding out you're the sovereign and all, it's no wonder you're conflicted. Heck, honestly. I think anyone would be. Rinwell. First it was Xion, then it was me, and now it's you. All of us suffering, just because of some power we never even asked for. Yeah, all this time you were suffering right in front of me, and I never even knew. I feel like I finally understand what you and Xion were going through. <laughs> you couldn't have known. Still, if you want to make it up to her, shouldn't we hurry it up and rescue her already? Poor Xion must be lonely, all by herself wherever she is. Yeah, you're right. Let's get going. Stop the same without her in the burn. What person talk to? Alfin, are we mm, gonna yeah. go rescue Shion or what? Yeah, for sure. <sighs> What's gotten into you, man? Aren't you worried about her? Do I even have any right to be? If you were in my place, you'd say, to hell with all yeah. that. What do you want to do? Sounds like me. Pretending I have all the answers is kind of my forte. <laughs> Come on, man. Snap out of it. This isn't like you. Look, I get it. You finally remember your past, only to feel like you've lost yourself again. You're in shock, and who wouldn't be? Worse still, you blame yourself for what happened. And yeah, I don't agree, but that doesn't mean I don't understand either. But here's the thing. None of that's got anything to do with Xion. I guess. It's about Naori, isn't it? Look, you're still here, aren't you? Who's to say this chick isn't alive and kicking out there somewhere, too? <sighs> Fine. I've said my piece. The thing is, though, where does this leave Xion? I... My power consumed me once already. Yeah. I left behind a path of fire and destruction. And the same thing could happen again. I can't guarantee anyone's safety, including Xion's. So you think we might get burned up because of your sovereign powers? I can think of worse ways to go. Come on, fight this thing! What happened to the guy who talked to me after my dad died? The one who cared enough to reach out and save me? 
That's the guy I was proud to follow. Not this faltering imposter who's taken his place. Law. <sighs> no, I'm serious. What's gotten into you, man? Just give me the word and I'll beat some sense into you if that's what it takes. Now, I'm gonna ask you this once and only once. <laughs> Are you serious about rescuing Xion or not? Do it, Law. Do it. What's it gonna be, Alfin? Big Buffalo. Big Buffalo. What do you think? Of course I want to rescue her. Hell, I'd do it right now if I could. So then quit griping and do it already! <sighs> Listen. Oh. You're probably. This would have been a better cutscene. Alfin. Scene. It's exactly like you said. Whatever happened in my past has nothing to do with Xion. But there's still so much that I. There I go again. So much for the inspiring Alfin of old. Eh, he could be a pain sometimes. Besides, even a hero has to let the crack show once in a <laughs> while, right? Yeah, I guess you're right. Just give me a little more time to fill in the cracks. And thanks, Law. Hey, don't even mention it. You've totally got this, Alfin. I believe in you. Back to the inn, I guess. Zubles, okay. that's what. They're almost at the village gates. Any closer and they'll be house hunting. I knew we shouldn't have cut through their territory. Uh-oh. That sounds bad. Yeah, we got to care of it. Can you fight? No shame in bowing out if you're not up for it. Kisara's right. You don't want to go overdoing it. I... Come <sighs> on, oh, man. <laughs> I'm up for it. Really? You ready? As ready as I'll ever be. It's now or never, right? Yeah. Alvin, right. Great to have you back. Now let's do this. All right. I think it's like back. Yeah. Look sharp, people. If we don't act fast, they're going to get into the village. Right. We need to hurry. We could do it though. We could beat their butts. Stupid ass souls. Thanks for tuning in to mobile and we hate themselves. But Remember, if the pain's too much. Not. We've all got our own pain to deal with. I'm done letting others pick up my slack. Here they come! Hey, music started again. You can't let even a single one through. There's a firm no Google policy. Fine by me. This is the last one. <laughs> Alfin, you okay? I'm fine. This pain thing really hurts, huh? But hey, at least you're still alive. <laughs> It wouldn't be called pain if it was pleasant. It can be pretty useful, though. It's good motivation to improve and get stronger. Guess I've got a lot of room to improve in that regard. Anyway, I'm glad we could protect the village, especially after everything they've done right. for us. Yeah. You know... This saloon kind of reminds me of home. The people here have hidden themselves away out of the fear of being found, always watching their backs. Though in the end, home was destroyed anyway. That won't happen here. Oh, is that a hint of fighting spirit I sense? That was quick. Yeah. I won't lie. 
Some of these memories will take a while to process. But I've learned something, too. My rage, this fury I feel at our so-called rulers, it comes from having so much of myself stripped away from me back then. Sure, it's not self-righteousness? Friends, family, home, they took everything from me and left me with nothing but guilt. I was completely alone. At least that's what I thought. But not anymore. Our party's lacking. Since I awakened, I've met people who I care about. Friends who hold me up. Friends who make me feel like I'm worth something. And I won't lose that. Not ever again. I'll protect those bones with everything I have. That's why I need to keep fighting. But Xion comes first. Yeah. Of course. First we rescue Xion. Then we defeat Volron and liberate Dana. Everyone. The end of it. Will you fight with me? Say the word and I'm there. Certainly no objections. Then it's agreed. Our next stop will be the capital, Pelegion. According to the villagers, there's a huge cliff separating Thistleum from the capital. Luckily for us, there's a path we can use to climb up. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. Let's go. We'll do that next time. What do you guys choose? Let's end up. Have a good day. We don't know what Take lies care of ahead. yourselves. We should prepare well before we venture forth. Yeah, can't exactly fight at the top of your game. Duh. Good point. Let's stop by the inn and plan our next move from there. Yeah, I always just get the end. By the way, how is Mahavar doing? Uh... <sighs> Wait, don't tell me we still haven't found him. It's not like we haven't been looking. I've covered the whole length and breadth of the coast, but... All of the other crew members are accounted for, including us. But we weren't able to find Mahavar. He's still missing. I see. Perhaps he couldn't bring himself to abandon the ship. You mean at the bottom of the ocean? Damn it. We don't know that it sank. We all washed up on the same shore. If the ship went down... Isn't it strange we haven't come across a single piece of debris? Do you think he might still be alive somewhere out there? I think stranger things have happened. Whether he's alive or otherwise, we've exhausted all the avenues available to us. All we can do now is press on ahead. Fine. Let's get going. 